Is Marco the most heavily underrated character in One Piece? To this day, many One Piece fans look down on Marco to the point where most of them believe both Ace and Sanji can easily beat him in a one-on-one -on -one combat. Marco is more than capable of holding his own against both Sanji and Ace even if both of them teamed up to fight him 2v1. I'm not underestimating the strength of both Ace and Sanji but fans easily tend to get distracted by Marco's calm and innocent persona and forget how much of a legend Marco really is. Think for a second, like Whitebeard, he is a legendary relic of the past. He has fought really in his prime one on one. Although we only got to see a glimpse of this jaw dropping fight where Marco gets stopped by Prime Rayleigh's index finger. It's foolish to come to a conclusion that Marco was totally helpless against Rayleigh. He was only caught off guard by Rayleigh's calm stance back with strong haki. Remember the time in Marineford where Marco fought three incredibly strong marine admirals at once, a feat that both Sanji and Ace would struggle to keep up with, not to mention. In one on one battle we saw, apart from Akainu, Marco had enough power to give both Aokiji and Kizaru a tough time or even beat them. After Whitebeard's tragic demise orchestrated by the hands of Blackbeard, Marco clashed yet again with Blackbeard. Although he suffered a huge defeat, at least Marco came back alive, uncaptured. Unlike Ace, despite facing off Yonko Kaido's two commanders in Wano immediately after his fight with Yonko Big Mom and her eldest son Perospero, Marco is still alive. I know you're gonna say, duh, he's alive because of the healing powers from his mythical phoenix fruit. Yes, I agree, but don't forget all these opponents had strong haki and had the capability of nullifying his devil fruit powers during their fight but they couldn't. The reason being Marco is heavily underrated and is way stronger than he may appear to be.